Been around 11 years out of Long Beach State. Former second round pick of the Mavericks, as a matter of fact, back in 93. Yeah, early on, he was in and out of the league. He got cut a couple of times, went back to the CBA. It's amazing when players like that find the right place. He's the leading scorer today for the Nets. Walker inside. Nice cut by Antoine Walker. No, they really don't. I, I don't think the numbers in a game like tonight can do Jefferson justice because I think he's setting the table for everyone. Davitsky misses outside. Jefferson with a rebound. Tying the biggest lead of the ball game and trying to add to it, but they throw it away. Again, missed shots leads to breaks for the Nets. Nash with a pull-up three and got it. Steve Nash hasn't shot much today, but he buries that one. That bug. Nash thought about a three, hit one earlier in the quarter from there. Jamison off the glass. The Nets holding on to a nine-point lead. And Williams lost it to Howard. Steve Nash looking for a pick from Jamison. And got it back to him for the open jumper. Got it. Yeah, Jamison has done his job in this game this afternoon. He's missionaries. He's a kid that a great leaper. We mentioned almost a seven-foot high jumper in high school as well. So he's picking up the slack today. Nash, I'm not so sure Steve should do that a little bit more today. Well, I think he has to. You know, his problem, you know, I was telling you before the game, I think he has the toughest job in the game this year because he has so many scores on his team he's almost more focused on getting them off every once in a while he has to get off also he averages eight and a half assists a game so he's looking to give it up jefferson will try a three of his own and bradley's there for the rebound dallas with a chance now to make it a four-point game here before the end of the third or with nash with the ball a three-point game could be because i think he's going to look for it under 10, Kittles is on it. Looking for a pick from Bradley, and the pass goes to Howard. Boy, nice dish by Nash. Nice catch. That baby with another opportunity now as we start the fourth quarter. The Mavericks ended the third quarter on an 8-2 run. The two All-Stars can only look on. Kenyon Martin and Jason Kidd both in street clothes today with injuries. And yet their team has really showed up well against the Mavericks. Sean Bradley knocks it down from the free throw line. You know, you look at Sean Bradley and you look at that shot and you say, what is he doing shooting that? But that's who he is. Howard. Rogers finds an open Lucius Harris and he hits it. 19 for Lucius Harris. Normally he's the guy coming off to take Jason Kidd's spot when he needs a breather. But today as a starter, he's been a star. Jamison. Nice dish by Nash to Jamison, who does that so well. And Slice Nash into the basket. Is, Nash is getting into this game. Slowly. You can, you can. And Bradley gets the tip. So Dallas with an opportunity to tie. Nash for the lead, and he got it. You can see it. You can see him getting into this game. And, and like Nelly said before the game, Kittles has 17 today. Harris has 19. He's got two more. Big shot by Lucius Harris. Let's get to the point. Now, who gets the first stop? Nash around a Bradley screen, and he hit another jumper. This time, not a three, but the stroke's there. Yeah, he's looking. Going to the free throw line after the timeout, but Steve Nash has had a big, big second half for Dallas. And with that shot, team for Kerry Kittles. Great balance for the Nets, but they still trail by two. And first time tonight, or this afternoon, that the Nets have come out playing the zone. Michael Finley, who was so hot early in the ball game, has his first field goal of the second half. Really good basketball team. Rodgers trying to spin around Avitsky. And Dirk's got the rebound. Daniels, Nash, Finley, Howard, Nowitzki on the floor, and it's Daniels scoring again. And he's talking about right now, and it's a good challenge, and they've responded to the challenge thus far this afternoon. It's a one-point game, but Dallas has shot 79% from the field this quarter. 
Five on the shot clock. Nowitzki from 15, and now they're 12 of 15 in the quarter. Boy. On the floor for Dallas, that they're going to give up some offensive rebounds, and they just did. A big one. Finley, open look. Got it. Boy. There's no way you replace guys that the last three times down have not gotten good shots. The bench looking on for Dallas. Half a minute left. Nowitzki, another tough shot, but this one goes. That was a tough shot, and it's exactly what Don Nelson wanted. He wanted to get that shot off, so if they miss, they could still play defense, call a timeout, bring it down, and have another chance at it. So. Good execution by Dallas. But I tell you what, this is good defense. Rodney Rogers moves his feet, contests the shot. Bottom line is, better offensive player. And Rogers did the best he could, and he's playing with five fouls, so he couldn't become any more aggressive than he already did. Two plays. This is the real play that they wanted to run right here. Here it comes. Harris, Jefferson, Rogers, Kittles, Collins on the floor for the Nets with a chance to win. The pass is deflected. Dallas has it. The outlet to Nash. And the Mavericks are going to survive the first of a five-game road trip on a turnover. That turnover was set up again. Again, Howard. Look at him deny Richard Jefferson. That's where they wanted to go. The second option was Rodgers. They never wanted to go. At the end of the game, to defend the other team's best player is something I thought I'd never see. Two rookies on the floor in that case. Both Daniels and Howard. And now Steve Nash is one of the best free-throw shooters in the business. Hits it. Nash has had a big offensive second half for Dallas, including three three-pointers. And those two free throws. And that will start Dallas' road trip off on a good note. Point one seconds, there's nothing you can do with. 101-98 is the final. Dallas survives. They trail by 12. They come back to win game one of their five-game road trip. ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com. Search ABC Sports. Stay tuned now for the Copper World Indy 200. For Doc Rivers and Michelle Tafoya, Brad Nessler from New Jersey, saying so long. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, home of the NBA Finals.